Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Wisnos Tech News and Reviews. As I have promised a couple of days ago on the shorts video. So I've done the major heart rate accuracy test between the Garmin Venue 2 and full on sport watch from Garmin as well as the Huawei GT3. So this is the all new watch from Huawei which has promised that it's got its heart rate accuracy up quite a bit and in fact it's now within 96 percent accuracy of the polar h10 ecg chest strap so what did i do i actually went to the gym i had a good strength workout just under 40 minutes doing lots of reps doing lots of these strength exercises getting the peaks up there getting the trolls getting a lot of intensity in there just to make sure that we have a great test and we did that so without further ado let's get into the results if you are new to wesno's tech news and reviews we talk about the latest tech news we do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way and so before we actually show you the results let me tell you about these two watches very quickly of course so the garmin venue 2 this is a full-on sport watch but with the smarts that make it more civilized because if you look at the phoenix 5 or 6 those watches are brutal they are huge they look rugged they look like bricks and they're not very smart they're not very beautiful but they are very precise they're very accurate and they're very functional for the sport watches they are the garmin venue 2 brings about more civilized looks much better smarts everything is in color everything is well animated the infographics are great on this and the fact is you still get a long battery it might not as long it might not be two weeks but you still get at least three four days usage out of this but the fact is it's very accurate and it costs slightly more than the huawei so if the huawei gt3 which we have right here and this is the 46 millimeter version so quite a big chunky watch as well this will set you back 230 quid or 250 to 300 bucks the venue 2 is 300 pounds or around 300 to 350 bucks so the venue 2 is slightly more expensive but its accuracy is undoubted so what i've done is actually been at the gym i've had the under 40 minute workout lots of intensity there and the benchmark was the polar h10 ecg chest strap and in fact i actually got the updated polar h10 ecg chest strap so it's got the new strap with new silicon dots in it just to keep it firmly on your chest and i'll actually be doing a review of that strap slightly later anyways so we've got the benchmark we've got the two watches let's get into the results and so let's start off with the benchmark as we can see from the polar beat app to which i have the polar h10 ecg chest strap connected to we can see that over the 36 to 40 minutes that i was doing these exercises we can see that the average heart rate recorded was 122 beats per minute while the max was registered at 148 beats per minute and we can see on the chart that there are a lot of peaks there are a lot of trolls we can see that this was quite an intense workout and as we know that usually the optical heart rate sensors on the back of smart watches they are great for things like when you're running but during strength workouts quite a lot of the smart watches actually fail fail to be highly accurate so if previously i've shown you the results of the huawei during an aerobic exercise that's great but this is an anaerobic exercise this is all about intensity during a strength workout so let's take a look at the results from the garmin venue 2 and we can see that the results there are great the average was actually measured at 121 beats per minute while the max was registered at 146 beats per minute so we're looking at an understatement for the average of just one beat per minute and an understatement of the max by two beats per minute these results are great this is what it's all about garmin venue 2 has proved itself on the numerous occasions across all the channels that have been testing this watch the garmin venue 2 is absolutely great so let's take a look now at what the huawei has come up with and what we can see here is that the average is measured at 120 beats per minute while the max is also registered 
at 146 beats per minute, giving us an understatement of two beats per minute for the average as well as the max. What can we say? Well, I'm amazed. This is an amazing result. For Garmin, well, that's expected. For Huawei, I didn't expect it, considering that the GT2, the previous model, it had a problem. It was really underestimating the strength workouts as well as the cardio workouts. The GT3 has just shown amazing results. Now that's slightly better, does it actually warrant you spending that 70 pounds or 100 bucks more? I don't know, it all depends on the use which you're gonna be having of the two watches. If you're going for the sports with a lot of the smarts, go for the Venue 2. If you're looking for the smarts but with great accuracy and good sports, then go for the Huawei. Anyways, thank you for watching this accuracy test. And if you did enjoy it, if you find it helpful, then please drop me a like. And if you want to see more of the same, please hit the red subscribe button below the video. And I'll see you in the next one.